Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with validating a user input by checking if it's an integer or not. And by integer we mean anything that's a negative number, a positive number, or zero, but it has to be an integer, not a decimal number. So let's get right into it. We have got a variable to represent our user input. I'd just like to make a quick disclaimer, we are, check, we are validating the user input and we're not going to cover how we can get user input. Then we have a print statement under here, we got print is valid int and user input. User input is representing this variable here, is valid int is going to be us calling a function and print, we're going to print out a true or a false depending on what the function returns. So let's get into defining that function. And that's the entire function right there. So we have def is valid int, input, colon. We are defining a function, it is called is valid int, and it's going to take in one parameter and we're going to call that input. Then we've got an if statement, if input zero equals minus character. What's going on here? Well, because we want to allow for negative numbers, we're going to actually check if the first character of this string is a minus because if it is we need to do something slightly different when we check if the rest of the string is a valid integer or not and you'll see why in a second so after that if statement make sure you put a colon after there by the way we do return input one colon dot is digit so is digit is simply going to check if the string you give it it can be a valid integer which is pretty simple, but if we gave it a string with that minus in, it would return a false because a minus isn't a valid digit. Is digit is checking if every single character in your string is a digit, so is either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or a 9, and we can use those digits to make numbers. But it doesn't like minuses. So what we can do is we can do input, then in the square brackets, we can do one colon. This is going to tell Python and the isDigit function, hey, check if a certain subsection of this string is a digit. And one colon means, so just before I say this, indexes start from zero. So we want to check from index one to the end of the string to check if it's a digit, but we don't want to check the first element, which is element zero. By doing this, we are going to ignore the minus in our check for a digit. Now, if there's another minus elsewhere in the string, then it's going to be invalid. But if there's a minus only at the start, it's going to be considered valid. So that's why we do one then colon. Then we do else. So if there is no minus at the start, then we do return inputs.isDigit because we want to check if the whole string is a valid integer. So we do inputs.isDigit. And that's it for this tutorial. So we're going to save our code and then we're going to hit the play button. So we're going to have to input a five. And it's true because five is a digit. Let's do minus five next. It's true because we allow for negatives. Let's try 2.5. It's false because while 2.5 is a valid number, it, we only want integers and dot is digit doesn't consider a decimal point a valid digit. And now we're going to type in a word and see what happens. It's false because subscribe isn't a valid integer, but subscribe is something you should do. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And I will see you next time with another Python tutorial.